Okay, here we go, back again with another little uh, side review. Uh, this time it is the turn of Layback Lumberjack, which is a session cider. Um, it's only 4.1, so it's a bit lighter than the, the previous ciders and beers I've been drinking. Um, these are from the guys at Against the Grain, uh, LDN Cider. So this is it's made in cider. Uh, made in cider? Made in London. Um, I don't think London is very famous for its apples, so uh, let's give this a try. Um, it's another medium dry number as well, so um, I'll probably have to change it up tomorrow or the next few days because I've had like three medium dries on a trot. Um, and it's also suitable for vegans as well, so it's ticking all the boxes. Um, let's have a look at it. Uh, so look, yeah, it's pretty, pretty clear on that, pretty light colour. Um, not loads of bubbles, but a few. Um, Let's have a smell. It's, it's not really a powerful apple, it's a very like a light tinge of a apple apple smell on that. It's not yeah, not overpowering at all. It's like kind of like a don't know how to describe it. Just like a little subtle, little subtle hint there of an apple for the taste. Yeah, you can tell it's not too strong at all. Um, yeah, it's a very light, easy, easy apple, apple, um, apple drink. Um, it's got more like linked to like a say, kind of like an apple tizer, kind of a, a doodah going on there. But yeah, from others you can tell that they had a bit of, bit more bite in there because of the stronger percentage of alcohol. This is quite a light. Um, I'd say light anyway, four point one. Um, so it's pretty, really easily drinkable um, beer. And then actually, yeah, once you have a few sips, the bubbles completely go. So it's really clear. Um, this is like when people describe cider as apple juice, then here you go. This is one of the apple juice, but not not super sweet as your snagged apple juice. A bit more of like a, a subtle taste, which were, which goes down a treat on this um, sunny, sunny uh, April day. Anyway, happy Easter. Bye-bye.